Hey everyone, so in today's video, we're gonna be checking out Reune Yellow Pages Scraper. So this is a deal on AppSumo. I don't know when this started, but um, I just found it. It is $85. Uh, you can also find it on their website and it's $27 per month, I believe, on their website. Um, but obviously, $85 for the lifetime deal is worth it. So, or, you know, in terms of what you're paying on the monthly subscription. But anyways, we're gonna test it out. I'm just gonna show you uh, what it looks like how it works and is it worth it for you and also what like what is it an alternative to so here we have my cat uh, he's on a motorcycle right now but um, <laughs> uh, you kind of get started on this page you push start scraping now and we have a few different things that we can do so uh, there is a site selection that's really cool so if you're in the UK Canada um, Germany Switzerland India Australia you can search based on those countries pretty cool we're just going to go to Yellow Pages USA uh, and we can look based on a city and a keyword. So if I do um, dog trainer and we can do Miami, Florida, push start. And this, I think this is a, it's gonna, it can scrape the website as well as just Yellow Pages. So Yellow Pages has its own data, but it can also go to the website and find um, more data from there. So we're going to keep it enabled. And uh, okay, cool. This is, says search page URL. I'm not sure what that means. If I don't know if that search page URL is only for yellow pages, which if it is, that's cool because I've never really used yellow pages. Maybe it has more search filters than just um, this, right? which the only filter is uh, the keyword in the city. Um, but anyways, here we have, it's going really fast, right? We already have data coming up to us. Export as CSV or a Excel file, which is cool. And um, it tells you how many businesses are going, how many emails it's checking. Now, when it says emails checking, I did this a little bit earlier ago, and it's saying that it checked 67 emails, but it really did not check 67 emails. Obviously, we have emails missing here, so not every single uh, contact has an email, but every single contact does have a phone number. Um, and also, a thing that I think is a drawback to this is that it does not have first and last names. Uh, so you do not get like a little data enrichment in terms of uh, getting that uh, first and last name data from uh, you know this tool and you don't get um, what else is there personal emails so we have like you know personal corporate emails so some of them will be corporate emails like this one that says Johnny at you know that person's whatever but most of them are like info like training at blah 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 um, or just I don't know unleash right so these aren't real people these are just like the emails that they created for you know, the purpose of um, marketing or whatever, um, people coming to them. So uh, that's the drawback is that you're not getting these uh, personal emails if you're doing email campaigns and you don't really know if they're uh, mobile phone numbers if you're doing texting campaigns. But honestly, uh, I think it is a really good tool. So as you can see, it's already complete. Um, and we, you know, it just did it really quickly. So the um, this is a very similar tool to D7 Lead Finder. And D7 Lead Finder, as you know, is or you maybe not know <laughs> it's 30 bucks a month uh you can also there's higher packages like 100 dollars per month um i think 60 dollars per month and those tools um you can do 10 searches a day this one with the app sumo deal you get unlimited searches per day and uh you're getting about the same data you know we're getting websites or facebook twitter instagram uh email business year um websites yeah more stuff so it it searches the i know i already said this but it searches the website as well as the um yellow pages and yellow pages it'll give you some information and then the website will give you other information um so you know the website on or the stuff on the website not be might not be that accurate or that accurate or as um as much right it might, might not have as much data because each website is different um, but here right so we have more emails here than we do from the website but you know we can still use the data and uh, use it for something, you know, maybe. So, alternative to D7 Lead Finder. Um, also, an alternative to Ninja Leads or Lead Hype, because Lead Hype actually does scrape uh, yellow pages, and it does it about the same way. The only thing that's an advantage to Lead Hype is that you're getting um, a little more personal data. So you're getting the uh, you're getting first names and last names and corporate emails, and I can show you how that data looks here. So, you know, you kind of search the same way uh, that you would. Um, you just put in a keyword and the city you want to look at. 
and then you get data like this. This is just an example sheet that I pulled from the Excel lead finder. Um, but we have business name, uh, you know, all this data is the same. So you'll get the same data here basically uh, as you would in this yellow pages scraper. But the thing that is different about this is that you're getting, um, let's see, you're getting contact person name. So you're getting the first name and last name of uh, people. So this one, you know, it says uh, manager of operations. We have area manager and account managers. So we have different, uh, this one has a ton of different people, right? Uh, so different people that we can reach out to. Shannon, the CEO, or sh sorry, Sharon, <laughs> the CEO. So we have first names of like multiple different people within the company, as well as a corporate email. So we have emails of those people. So we have, you know, Todd's email, Thomas's email, John's email, Chad's email. Okay, so pretty cool that it gives you a little more data. So it's got like this data enrichment feature um, built into Lead Hype or Ninja Leads to give you this more data. So this does not have that, it just pulls directly from uh, Yellow Pages. But it is still really good. And I will do a search um, that is comparable to this. So this one is, let's say, this one is El Paso, Texas, and it was staffing, a staffing service, I believe was the search term. So we'll do the same thing. Staffing service in El Paso, Texas. And we'll see how that looks. Keep this enabled. Uh, I'm gonna see how many exactly we got from here. So we don't wanna do Milwaukee. We want just the El Paso, Texas. Um, how do we do this? I don't know. <laughs> El Paso, let's just do clear and then El Paso. Okay, so here we have 22. Um, I'll do one more. I'll just do Texas and see what we get. Because the thing about uh, this is that sometimes it's gonna be outside of, oh my goodness. Sometimes when you search El Paso, it'll give you like the surrounding area. So it's not just El Paso. So, you know, I'm sure this is kind of the, the same way, um, but we'll stop here. Let's just say that's, I don't know where Arlington is, but mm, let's see, this is about 42, all right? And we'll see what we get from here. We have 60 businesses. So we are getting more data um, from, and these are all in El Paso. So more data from this tool than we are in Lead Hyper, Leads Ninja, and, um, we're getting phone numbers. Yeah, see, we're getting about, you know, this one's Aerotech. I know that one was in the lead type, lead type or Leads Ninja sheet. And let's see, the phone number is this. Uh, we do not have an email for this one, but 915, let's see that if that data is the same. I don't know if this was Aerotech, let's see. I thought it was in here. Oops, nope, not that, Control F. Air, I don't know how to spell that, Aerotech, nope. Um, a, E, R, O, A, E, R, O, nope, not in there, how about we do, select all, all right, Aerotech, Aero. Okay, I think the reason that this says like Maryland and this says Mil Wa Milwaukee is because that's where they're at, like, the main campus is located, but they probably have an office in El Paso, Texas. So this one does actually doesn't give me a phone number, which is funny. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and try to compare the data all day, but it looks like, you know, the data here, we're getting more, and it's still running, right? It's still running here. And we have uh, 120 now. And uh, yeah, and that one we had uh, 40, you know. So, and it looks like these are all good, like Elwood staffing, right? This. Looks like we're staying in the same niche. The problem with these seven lead finders is that a lot of times when you look up like on a business coach, you'll get like a psychic. And it's like, it's okay, that's I guess similar in a way, but it's not a business coach, right? It's not what I was looking for. So that is the problem. Uh, I know with Lead Hype and Leads Ninja, it gives me about this, what I need every single time. So if I look up business coaches, it's just gonna give me a list of business coaches, not gonna give me psychics and stuff like that. Um, and it looks like this is almost the same. So SPS, uh, employer risk management, I guess that's kind of the same. I know that's a um, employment company or uh, yeah, staffing company, Staff Central, right? This looks like pretty good data, um, no psychics here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think if I were you, if you are in the market, honestly, if you're like me that just gets a lot of data, you do a lot of campaigns, 
Um, I would definitely recommend this tool. Uh, you know, I just got it and I think I'll keep it. Um, if you are just starting out and you know, you don't uh, know if you know, this is the right thing for you, I think I would test it, right? So AppSumo, what's really cool about AppSumo is that they give you refunds. So uh, they make it really easy to get a refund as well. So if you get it through AppSumo, you can purchase it. And if you do not like it, you can just get a refund. Um, and you can use it a little bit, see if you like it. Uh, and you can test the campaign, whatever. And yeah, so that's what's really cool. Um, I would use it if I were you, if you're starting out wherever, whatever stage you are in this journey, right? I'm a pretty um, avid user. I'm a pretty, uh, I use a lot of data, so I'm going to use this tool. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. Uh, and check this out. I will put the link in the description, not affiliated in any way. I was not paid to say this. So <laughs> thanks again.